being a pirate isn't easy. Other players spit on you, and banks refuse your service. On top of that, pirates can only train skills and obtain items in the following areas. Unless, of course, we find any maps to buried treasure. Any quests that unlock new ports or islands are fair game, including all of the pirate-themed ones. I have chosen to write these tales down because someone must know the truth if I perish in the chambers of Zarek. My name is Ingus, and this is the story of how I became King of the Pirates. Aye, there was no other way. Even if I could get back to Pearl Pearl, I'd need my own impling jars, which can only be made from butterfly jars. And these are only sold at two shops in all of Gilinor, the two hunter shops in Yanil and Narda, which I don't have access to. I went back to Horned Grox eventually, but I wanted to try another hunter method out first. Chapter 12, Breaking and Entering. All right, the first thing we need to do is buy our saw and this is the last time we will need to buy the saw from the sawmill. We'll never have to buy anything from here again. I'm just gonna grab this hammer. We don't wanna unknow all of these oak planks all at once because we have no way of actually noting them again. So we wanna make sure that we're only taking what we need for this moment. First thing we're gonna build is our workshop. We can finally build a tool store in our house, which means we will never have to go anywhere else for tools. And now we can take out the hammer and the saw whenever we need to. No more sawmill. Can I use these planks? Uh, oh, you know what? We need nails to use regular planks. I guess we'll just go unnote more of these oak planks. And we're also here because we need a piece of molten glass. You'll see. Okay, we can drop these regular planks and we'll just take oak planks since we don't have any nails right now. All right, this, laddies, is our ticket to a higher hunter level, right here. The crafting table two. Ah oh man, I didn't really think this out. I have three oak planks left and I do not know what to use them on. Okay, we're back with some more planks and we're gonna build the oak workbench. Yeah, so I totally, I totally thought that you could make a flat pack without the level. Like you could just bring the materials. <laughs> but it's okay. Planks are a dime a dozen as long as you catch enough eclectic implings. You know what? I'm just gonna build this beautiful oak table. Okay, so we are back onto the hunter. We're not going to Grox yet. Be patient. That won't happen for like another video or so because we got stuff to do to prepare. I have another method to show you guys. I think I need another pair of gloves and boots as well. These, these calluses are just really starting to kill my feet, man. Okay, I will be collecting a total of four steel bars. Gonna grab these willow logs and then teleport to the house. Over here at this clockmaker's bench, we can make four clockwork mechanisms with our steel bars and now we have all the materials to make willow birdhouses. Sweet. However, we still need some hop seeds in order to actually use these. So let's just kill some moss giants and see what we get. You'll notice that there are no birdhouses in my inventory and that's because I dropped them over there. But anyways, we're not killing moss giants anymore because I realized that they only drop wild blood seeds, and it's an uncommon drop, so I don't think that moss giants are going to work out. So it looks like I'll need to do a little bit more digging to figure this out. Hey, there's 19 farming. We are just camping here while we continue to search for the solution to this problem. <laughs> Honestly, I think I'm just going to have to ditch these birdhouses anyways, because if we find a way to get seeds, We'll need the space first and then we can just make the birdhouses after. So we'll just put those there and I'm going to continue running compost. There are only a couple ways to obtain hop seeds. They can be purchased from Olivia's seed market in Draenor Village or they can be stolen from master farmers. Since Draenor Village doesn't have a dock, I cannot visit the seed stall there, meaning the first option is off the table. But this also poses a bigger problem. Currently, there are only a handful of farmers who have attained the master status, and two of them reside in Draenor. A few more live north 
of Ardoin, which I cannot go to, and there are also a few that wander around Varok, also outside the pirate zone. And even if I had 45 farming, the farming guild is off limits because there's no way to sail there, which means it is impossible for me to obtain hop seeds for birdhouses. Or is it? Just as my ship was rolling into Port Piscarilius, I looked out at the shore and saw the biggest farm I'd ever seen. A plan started to form in my head, and by the time the sun started to go down, I knew how I could pull it off. All I needed was the cover of nightfall, and the perfect time to strike. Wow, this master farmer is going to open up so many possibilities. We now have a way to consistently get pretty much any seed. It doesn't solve all our problems and it's kind of a pain because every time I need seeds I'll have to go here and then go to Catherby and it's just a long mess. There's no charter ships from here to Catherby. So it is kind of a pain to do it but you'll see what I mean when I show you just how complicated these birdhouse runs will be. There's 21 farming. I actually forgot that this discovery not only solves the problem of the birdhouses, but it also gives us a way to acquire some seeds just to get the farming level for our second item on the list for Horned Grocks. 26 farming and herb lore for making energy potions. To get food, I'm gonna have to figure out a better way to do this because the only way to get to Port Piscarilius is through Veos at Port Serum and there's not a close food source nearby, so yeah. And to do a full birdhouse run, I'll need 40 hop seeds. And with the master farmer, it is kind of hit or miss whether I get that many seeds because my thieving level is so low and there's a good chance that I'll run out of food because I don't have that many inventory spaces before I actually get enough seeds. 40 thieving, wow. <laughs> it's like our first level since we began our journey. Okay, I think we have enough seeds to do at least one run, actually maybe two. Now we just have to make the birdhouses again. But you'll notice I have a couple extra seeds in my inventory, so first we gotta use those up. Hmm, should I plant these? Oh wait, we're not even 22 farming. Okay, well, looks like we're gonna have to do red berries. All right, 22 farming. We can now do those cadaver berries. That'll free up another inventory space. Oh, it'll be so perfect if I get rubies. Ah, sapphires. Oh well. I almost forgot that I had this here. 64 XP. <laughs> it's like 15 rakes that we don't have to do. Not bad. I was going to keep these marigolds because you can use them as an ingredient for impling jars. But we actually cannot make impling jars because there's no butterfly jars available to us right now. I don't know why earlier I went to the Karamja mine to make steel bars because this is just, <laughs> I always forget about this store. It, you just have everything you need here. All right, we got our steel bars and we just need to make some more clockwork mechanisms. Okay, I have my birdhouses made, but I don't have a dig site necklace. So we're gonna have to go kill a couple ogres warriors to get a ruby again. Oh, sweet, yes, there it is. Don't have to stay here too long now. Uh, except I forgot we need some cosmic runes. <laughs> Would you look at that? Is that I was just saying, <laughs> finally, we can do our first birdhouse run. It's only been like a few days of preparation since, yeah. Actually, before that, I want to free up some space. So I'm just going to use up all these runes right here. Maybe we'll get an obby cape or something. I don't know. Oh, I'm so excited. I never... <laughs> I'm so excited for these bird runs, man. You have no idea. 
It sounds like a silly thing to be excited about, but it's the little things in life that keep you going. I haven't even unlocked the Verdant Valley yet, so we gotta run there the first time. Let's just get these last two set up and we can just wait and come back and collect some hunter xp <laughs> the start of a very slow grind so i want to use up these four oak planks in my inventory because it's not enough to just keep there and we don't actually have the construction level to use them for something super useful like the treasure chest in the house so i'm just gonna build some stuff on fossil island real quick and actually i've been thinking for a while we don't need this air staff in our inventory. It's taking up one space and why not just have runes because if you want to do some combat spells like fire strike then you need air runes and if I have a fire staff equipped I can't be equipping the air staff so it makes no sense to have this air staff. It's pretty much just taking up a space for me so goodbye. Also gonna need an iron bar real quick and there's the nails. Okay I think we got everything. Oh, almost forgot, we gotta unnote these. Okay, we're ready now. I think the most useful thing we can build, I mean, there's not a lot that we can build, but I think it's this bank chest, cause then at least we can unnote things. And our options are pretty terrible, so I'm just gonna build this loom right here. And 34 construction to end this chapter off. Thanks for watching everyone. There are still two more things that we need to check off before we can go to Horned Grox. So stay tuned and I'll catch you next time.